What is going on guys? This is Joss here and today we are back because we are going to another NPL game this weekend and the game I am going to today is a far bigger match in terms of the teams playing than yesterday. I actually know something about these teams. It's uh, let's uh, it's fucking Sydney Olympic at home at Belmore, one of my favourite stadiums ever against Wollongong Wolves who are a team that I don't mind. Both of these clubs have got a pretty big history in Australian football with both of them winning the NSL I think multiple times. Maybe uh, maybe Sydney Olympics only, only won it once, but I know Wollongong Wolves have won it a couple of times. They've also been champions of Oceania, which is something. So yeah, it's, it's a fairly big matchup. And my favorite thing about it is that we're gonna get to see three of the old Sydney FC lads playing. Fabio Ferraria, Charles Logalingoy, and Sebi Ryle are all playing for Sydney Olympic. And one other thing I'm excited about is going to Euro Euro, my favorite Euro shop in Australia. So yeah, I'm just dead excited for this. It's gonna be a great weekend of football. We can continue to forget about the Sydney Derby on Friday night and hopefully get to watch some decent football and also see a decent atmosphere. So let's go and see what Sydney Olympic versus Wollongong Wolves will be like. guys in Belmore about an hour before kickoff just opposite the Belmore Hotel where I'm gonna run and go get a, a few bottles before kickoff but I got myself a gyro which isn't technically a kebab it's more like a schizophrenic cousin of a kebab like it's it's just fucking wacky but it's it's in the same ballpark and it's pretty good um, I mean it's it's a little poorly packed but I'd, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10 just cuz no nah, I'll give it a 9 I, I said it was the best uh, best kind of gyro in Australia and uh, I'll stick by that the only reason it doesn't get a 10 is because I'm trying to be mildly healthy and I didn't get chips on it so 9 out of 10 gyro worth the trip alone Those Bulldogs accolades written up there are a little faded. Kind of typical of where we're at right now. Okay, thank you, Anna Norris. Well done. Good luck in the season. You're under tens. Our coach is uh, Jason Madonis. He's warming up over there, so he can't be here.
Oh, all right, guys. I got back about 20 minutes ago, put on the A League, and started watching. But uh, that that was Sydney Olympic versus Wollongong Wolves. Wollongong Wolves obviously won two one and got off to a pretty good start. But Sydney Olympic, they they really had their moments. They they pushed Wollongong at the start of the second half and really should have scored. They had Charlie up front. This is Charlie. Watch people. Um, fucking hell, he's fast, but. He, he got so tired so quickly. By like the 70th minute or so, he was just cramping up and, and just didn't have the energy to play anymore. But yeah, Wollongong Wolves get the win. Nice to see. And, you know, we'll just follow up with these teams. I want to go to a few more. Um, <coughs> I want to go to a few more Sydney Olympic Games for sure. The atmosphere there, I wouldn't call it incredible. There, there were a few people down one end trying to start Olympic, Olympic. Uh, or just doing that to support the team. Uh, but other than that, it was just kind of football focused. Everyone there, like when Sydney Olympic scored, jumped up and yeah, come on, um, and got involved. But there, there was nothing really too much going on. Like there was no active support or anything, but it, it was just a nice game of football to watch. Uh, it was pretty cool to sit in the Belmore Grandstand for the first time. And uh, I, I definitely do that again. Uh, Euro sitting well right now at least and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed this video uh let me know how you've liked the two npl vlogs i've done so far but other than that i will see you guys next time i make a video bye bye